Hello, how's it going? My name is John, and you're watching another episode of John's Kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my gourmet corn and pea succotash. Now, to those of you out there who say that corn and peas mixed together is not succotash, get over it. All right? It's my kitchen. It's my corn. It's my peas, and it's my video. I say it is. All right. Okay. So you can see that I'm using a package of nature of all directions organic green peas and another package of organic cut corn now we're going to put these into the frying pan or whatever the hell that thing is and it's very important they be placed in the correct order what we're going to do, we're going to put the, the peas in first. We're going to go ahead and put the entire package in there. Now, in order to maintain the feng shui, we want to make it level like that. Okay? Now we're going to add the corn. Again, paying careful attention to the feng shui. All right. Now, I'm going to turn the water on to a flow of approximately 2.7 gallons per minute. For you out there who are not very experienced with cooking, you may want to purchase a receptacle that has exactly 2.7 gallons of volume and then time how long it takes to fill the receptacle so you can get this right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put water while I'm waiting for that to fill up. You can see that I've brought my ruler. When we're done, we're going to want to see 1.5 centimeters of water on top of the corn and as you can see the water mark is at exactly 1.5 centimeters. Alright, now we're going to place that on the burner and we're going to turn the volume up to high. Next, we cover the pan, and we'll just wait for it to boil. As you can see, the pot has just started boiling. The corn and pea succotash gourmet meal almost complete. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to use one of these and you will see that it is specially designed such that the water can exit but not the gourmet corn and pea succotash. You can see that 
while I was waiting for the gourmet corn and peas succotash to cook, I prepared a medley of grated cheese consisting of organic valley pepper jack cheese in the amount of exactly 42% and organic valley raw sharp cheddar cheese in exactly an amount of 58%. I'm going to take this ladle and I'm going to put a layer on the bottom of the bowl just like that. Be sure to put the succotash layer down first and then we're going to take some cheese and sprinkle it over the top as so. Another layer of corn and cheese succotash or peas, whatever the hell it is. Another layer of cheese on the top. Now, for the final touch that makes it a truly gourmet meal. I have here a jar of Natural Directions Organic Marinara Sauce. And I'm going to put a dash of it over the top, like so. And there you have it, folks. Another five-minute gourmet dinner prepared for you by John's Kitchen. Go out and spend five minutes cooking. You'll be glad you did.